I titled the show The Theater of All Possibilities. The title comes from a 1960s theater group that was based out of San Francisco at the time. They worked on many projects together throughout the years, though one project they're best known for is the Biosphere 2 in Oracle, Arizona. Here they attempted to imitate Earth's ecosystems, uh, a desert, a rainforest, an ocean, and more inside of this one biodome with the hope that humans could replicate our world in outer space in the future if we needed to. I visited the biosphere in 2018 and was moved by the idealism of the group. What especially fascinated me was that they continued to use theater as a way to air out their grievances and sort out group dynamics. It was a way to move projects forward and it became part of their weekly routine. Interestingly, theater was also used in many historical utopian communities throughout the last 200 years for similar reasons. These new paintings are an expansion of the swimmer series I've been developing for the past several years, the Madcap Swimmers, which initially came out of my love of durational open water swimming. For this exhibition, I'm taking elements of the Biospherian story and superimposing those over personal elements of my own life and from there creating a loose fictional narrative. Here, the figures are dressed in wetsuits, their group uniform. They've been swimming across the sea in search for their utopia. In the tradition of historical utopianism, they attempt to manifest their ideal life through art, dance, play, and theater. I think it's the promises of utopian communities that keep me interested, even more so than its many fallacies. While exploring the fine line between ideal and dogma, these new works also touch upon themes of tenderness and hope. In the theater night paintings, the madcap swimmers are transformed into performers. Wearing crowns and costumes, they can be seen behind the curtain waiting for their cue to come on stage. I borrowed from Degas dancers here. The uplighting from the stage comes into play to add to the drama of the scene. The idea for the paintings sprung from the Biospherians' weekly theater nights, where the group would be assigned literary or cultural texts from which members would choose a character to perform in costume for the evening. The painting Caravan of Dreams at High Noon closes in on two figures in costume facing each other. The title comes from an early project some of the members of the Biosphere undertook in the 1980s. I had Alex Katz in the back of my mind, and his ability to make very large portraits with simplified shapes. Here I also pared down the shapes of figures into large geometric forms, while still playing around with various painting techniques from one element to the other. And still maintaining a relationship to narrative intent, that of an intimate moment between two actors just before going on stage. In the painting Les Éventails, I let the handheld fan, a costume element from the theater night paintings, become the focal point. I imagined a rushing on stage by the actors, or them waiting in a crowded queue, impatient to start performing. I wanted to bring the scene close up to the viewer, to the point of abstraction. In the painting Perpetual Search, the landscape is framed within the swimmer's arm, and then again reflected in the swimmer's eye. Similarly to other paintings in the exhibition, I use large brush strokes in the black elements of the swimmer's wetsuit and swim cap that reflects light in multiple directions, creating movement inside of the shape, while the background elements are composed of thin dry brush layers to create more depth. I wanted the mountain at the horizon to be the focus of the madcap swimmer's search it's a motif I often use as a symbol of idealism in my work. The title seems to hint at the futility of having such a goal, but perhaps the search for an ideal world never stops. It's ongoing.